Hey guys, it's Nick from Retro Games HQ, and today I'm just going to be doing a Digimon Starters tier list from 01, 02, and Tamers, the first three generations. I know Monster Tamer Bloba did a Pokemon one, and he's actually not been much of a Pokemon player. Well, I mean, I like Digimon, but I've not played too many Digimon games, and I do like this series, especially Tamers. But let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm having to look at my phone just for the freaking names. I seriously cannot remember them, period. Uh, first off, obviously, go like, share. You, you all all know the... You've heard it a million times, so let's just start. First off, Agumon. That's going to be an instant S tier just because... Well, I mean, Greymon's even cool, especially if you've... It's just something special to it, just because you look at the movie that was supposed to come before Digimon, where it's like in real life, you know, it's not in a digital world, Agumon's gigantic, then it evolves to... Uh, Greymon, I think the name of the Digimon it's fighting is like Parrotmon or something like that, and it's an ultimate. But then Greymon's only a champion, but he still beats the ultimate. It's pretty cool. Anyways, um, War Greymon's cl uh, cool. School Greymon is cool. Uh, don't freaking was it uh, Omnimon, Omega Mon, whichever one it is. That's always freaking cool. Uh, can't go wrong with OG like pretty much the star Digimon. And this is a uh, well, I'll go by generations, so I'm not going to go in the order that it is in. This is Gabumon, which I also think is pretty cool. I don't like his champion form, but his ultimate form was a war war or metal Gururumon. I think that's the one. He's actually pretty cool, and so is it um, his uh, well, Omnimon or Megamon, whichever one it is. Just because of that, uh, his DNA Digivolution is pretty cool. And then it was this... Uh, Gomamon. I'm literally have to look up. I think it's she kind of beat here. Let me be honest. Just because I really don't give a crap about any of his evolutions, but he's not horrible. There's definitely worse. Digimon out there, absolutely worse. But he's not horrible. And his uh, partner, well, I forgot what his name is. Probably the lamest. Not probably. He is the lamest and worst one of any of the first three. Like, generations, period. Let's see, let's go on. Uh, okay, here is... I can't believe it. It's been so long. Palmon? I can't believe it's been this long. <sighs> see, I want to put it, like, right here, because the one where it, it turns into a cactus, but it kind of turns into a waifu, so because of that, it's got to be a little bit more than Palmon. Can I... There we go, there we go. Kind of got to be better than Palmon. Just because I think it's ultimate. I think. It's like a waifu. But that's really all it is. Not that great. And I don't even remember that properly. Um. Say. Petmon. Petmon. Whatever name is. That's Biomon. Uh. Fire. Like Phoenix Bird's pretty cool. And then it goes into. Oh my gosh. I can't remember the name for its ultimate. But anyways, I think it's an A tier. Solid. And Sora's a solid character. This is what, Tentomon? Let me look at the names. Yeah, Tentomon. Not Tentomon, but Tentomon. I do like, um, was it Hercule, Herculemon or whatever? And then Golden Herculemon or whatever it is. Freaking cool, especially in the Tri. So I'm going to put it as a solid A. In fact, I think it's actually better than uh, Biomon. So that's Tet. Okay, technically the, uh, was it Patamon? Yeah, Patamon, not Pato, but Patamon, and Gatomon, technically are O2, even though they were with uh, O1. So let's go on, so Gatomon, just because it turns into like a cool-looking angel one, and because uh, technically I think Gatomon is champion level, and then its ultimate is Angel Woman, Angel, angel Woman, angel, angel Mon, something like that. Pretty cool, but then it's next phase, uh, I forgot what it's called, Mega. It, then that's pretty freaking cool. And of course, if you've seen Trimon, I mean, not Trimon, the Tri series or movies, it's pretty freaking cool. I'm gonna put it up with A tier, honestly. Uh, and then you got Patamon, yeah. And of course, he's not as cool as Gatomon, his champion, ultimate, and Mega is not as cool. I mean, I know that they're, you know, pretty much supposed to be together, but I don't think it's pretty cool. I think the coolest part of them is Patamon. Anyways, um, so it's O2 time. Now, I need to 
phone went to sleep. Let me get it right back up. Anyways, while I'm doing this, go ahead and make sure you subscribe. All right, so got it back up. Vmon, Vmon's S tier. It's actually, he is better than Gabumon. Freaking <laughs> the Digi armor thing, the egg armor, whatever crap that was introduced in O2 was the it was a brilliant idea. Vmon having so many. Of course, he had a, was it Vdramon? Demi Vmon's awesome. It's like in training version. I think it's like Vidramon, which I think's the I think that's the DNA Digivolution with Burmamon, but even the one that's no, that's Imperial Dramon. It was Vidramon. I wish these docs would shut up. They're barked for no reason. But Vidramon, I think, is the champion version of Vimon. But then you have I forgot the names of it. You have um of course you have the one where it is uh like black and yellow. So it's running, then you got the one where it's fire, of course there's all different armors, and then of course you have the movie where he turns into, uh, what was it, Magnamon, Magnamon, I think it's Magnamon, because you also have Magnamon um, X, but it's not as cool as Magnamon, and Magnamon is the reason why Vmon, uh, okay, honestly, because I used to have a, I think Magnamon uh, toy, was my favorite. That in a movie. Like, Vmon, if I had to pick a Digimon, period, to have. It wouldn't be Agumon. It would be Vmon. So, once I thought of that, I'm like, no, I have to put this number one on top for S. Uh, maybe I'll do a Armor Digimon rank sometime. Why not? Uh, so, let's go on. So, was it Armadillamon? Of course, it's going to be English names. C tier. Um... Sandshrew looks better. I know I don't generally compare it to Digimon to Pokemon, but when we're talking about armadillos and stuff and monsters, Sandshrew looks better. Um, I think it's just kind of an un unimpressive design with unimpressive Digivolutions. So this is what Hawkmon. Um, no, it's it's Champion's kind of cool, but honestly. Mm, I can't put it up with these. I can't put it up with these. It has to be seats here. Now, I would say it's better than Armadillamon, but that's about all. Um, Let's see. Which ones do I have left? Wormamon, right? Yes. So, Wormamon, I think. Yeah, it's true. I do. That's that's it. Now, Wormamon, see, I actually think it's kind of cool. Along with its evolutions. Or Digivolutions, especially since it can DNA Digivolve with Vmon, and I like its um, its partner's uh, backstory and his story, crap like that. I forgot what his name is. Ka Say, it starts with the K, I think. I don't remember. Um, it's I actually like his story and stuff. He's actually pretty cool, you know, because it's like oh, he's being controlled or some crap, blah blah blah. Anyways, really like him. Actually, I definitely would put him up with A. Now, technically, Lopmon is an O2. Technically, um, Terriermon is an O2 Digimon. If you watch the movie, you know why. So, and of course, I could put, what is it? Monkunmon? Kunmon? Whatever the name of it was. I could have put him in O1, but I'm not going to. I actually don't give a crap about that one at all. Uh, and it happened like 20 years later. Nah, ain't, ain't. I ain't gonna consider it. This was just like right when it was happening. So, um, Terriermon, Lopmon. Yes, I'm gonna start with them for Tamers since they were kind of in between. So, Terriermon, um, its coolest version is a rookie, but it's higher than Armadillomon and him. Yeah, I'm just gonna put him B. It's not horrible. Lopmon, actually, I kind of like Lopmon's uh, Digivolutions. Now, this is Renamon, and um, Renamon, I'm not too crazy about. Its evolutions ain't that great, and its design, I don't think, is all too great either. Uh, was it Monodramon? D tier. Which is terrible. Terrible. Uh, was it Leomon? I think it is. C tier. He just dies in the real world, in any series. And in a, if you get deleted in a real world, you're dead. You're dead, dead. You don't get 
reincarnated. You're just dead. So, yeah, I just, I'm not impressed. I mean, cool, he's courageous and stuff, but he keeps losing. So, eh. But then Galmon. I was like, come down here, Gabumon. Galmon is freaking S tier Digimon design, period. Its champion version isn't that cool. Now, it gets cooler with ultimate and stuff, but then, of course, you have um, the one with the shield. I forgot the name of it is. Um, and then you got the one that goes beyond that, that has like these two double swords. I actually don't like that one as much as the champion or the ultimate version, but he's pretty freaking cool. Of course, I think it's the ultimate mega. I don't remember. Anyways, um, definitely my top three. Definitely my top four. I think I've done pretty well. Uh, only one I could definitely put in this one was Mondramon or whatever. And I mean, uh, Leomon's never bad run. Yeah, these deserve it. I think these are fair placements too. So I think that's about all for. No, well, I'm a Digimon tier list, so you know, Monster Tamer Blomba did his Pokemon one, so I thought, you know what, I'll do my Digimon Stars one, and I'll have a link to the tier list in the description below. I actually made this one, as you can see. Uh, so yeah. Anyways, that's all for this video. In Retro One.